in this video I'm going to teach you a fancy way on how to gift hand-me-downs to an expecting mother. Stay tuned. Welcome to Simply Made Fancy. I'm Angelina and if you're new to my channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out some of my other videos. Now, ready for my five fancy tips on how to gift hand-me-downs? Tip number one, make sure that the person you're giving the hand-me-down to actually does want them or need them. I called my friend Sarah and she was so grateful to receive anything that I can give for her baby. Tip number two, go through all the clothing and make three initial piles. You're gonna need to do a discard, keepsake and giveaway. Pile number one, make sure that all the clothing that you're giving away is in good condition. Anything that is not, throw it away. Pile number two, anything that is sentimental or that you wanna keep forever, that brings good memories about your child, put it in another pile and put it in a nice little box so that they can open maybe someday or pass down to their own children. And pile number three is the giveaway hand-me-down pile. Tip number three, sort through the hand-me-down pile and separate by season and age. So what do I mean by that? Well, Sarah's baby is gonna be born in the summer. So zero to three months, he'll be needing warm weather clothing. Likewise, three to six months, he'll be needing fall weather clothing. So what do you do with the remaining clothing that's not gonna work for the baby? Stay tuned to the end of the video. I have a pro tip to share with you. Tip number four, wash the baby clothing. I like to use Drift because it reminds me of newborns and is safe for babies. I'll link that detergent below. Another reason why I wanted to wash the clothing for Sarah was because as an expecting mom is one less thing to worry about. Tip number five, presentation. Even though the gift is a hand-me-down, it doesn't mean that you can't do something to make it more special. I use baskets, boxes, and gift bags to present it in a way that it felt like it was a special new gift for the expecting mother. Now, are you ready for my pro tip? So what do you do with the remaining clothing that you couldn't use for the gift? Well, I took it to my local consignment shop and I was able to get store credit and I scored big. I needed rain boots for my son and I was able to buy Star Wars rain boots. And if you know my family, you know we're big Star Wars fans. Just check out Jedi Toy Masters and you'll find out why. There you have it, a beautiful gift basket that any expecting mom would love. Now here's a question for you. What do you do with the clothing that your kids outgrow? I would love to know, share in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Thank you for watching and remember, in life, everything should be simple, but it doesn't mean it can't be fancy.